All right, this is my quick review of Daily Wire's Lady Ballers. This is unscripted and just off the cuff. I'm going to try to stay high level, but um, I'll probably spoil some things too. I guess this is going to kind of be more of like a movie reaction. First off, um, definitely not for kids. However, they do put PG-14. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't be so much the case because I walked into my kitchen and lamented to my 10 year old that I wish I had someone to watch this movie with. And she said, well, I'll watch it with you. And I said, okay, but at the first sign of something, you got to get out. That happened fairly early into the movie. And it was kind of tragic because I was live tweeting my reactions and her naive remarks were absolutely wonderful. Such as, as soon as the scene came on with all these men in drag, she just looked at it and said, Oh, this is hurting my eyes. But alas, I had to send her away when a uh, prostitution joke came up. Which was a good move, because that was right before Jeremy fondled some guy. So yeah, don't watch this one with kids. To be fair, it's not marketed towards kids, so. It was honestly very funny. Um, I was surprised at how funny it was. There were definitely a lot of parts that were like laugh out loud funny. And I'm someone who can look completely stoic while watching stand-up comedy. There were a couple jokes that were like scream laughing. They would do like a lot of um, like jump laughs, like not prepare you for what the next scene would be, such as all of a sudden seeing Brett Cooper and Michael Knowles dressed up as Native Americans. That was hilarious. That was honestly probably the best part of the movie. That was really funny. And then, of course, they have Matt Walsh playing an absolute hippie, which just in itself was really, really funny. And then wrapping up the movie with Matt Walsh playing himself and then hinting that the whole thing was just like a plot of his was, was pretty amusing. It was definitely a lot dirtier than I thought it would be. But in a weird way, it was very family oriented because they made sure that everybody big in the Daily Wire w was part of this. Like, oh, we're going to make kind of a dirty movie. But we need to make sure that Jordan Peterson and uh, Candace Owens are, uh, they have their cameos in this. We got to make sure. Because we are a family. And then there was just, just one line with Andrew Clavin. And it's like, that's what you gave him? That's the line you chose for Clavin? I really wish I could have been a fly on the wall when certain scenes were being pitched. Such as Jeremy being like, I want this hot reporter to just throw herself at me. Also, side note, I was really surprised he could act. There was definitely a few, like, over-the-top things that I feel like the movie would have been better without. But at the same time, I understand they were trying to be obviously ridiculous. And I felt like it was very on-the-nose in necessary ways. There was definitely some twists and turns I did not anticipate. All in all, I was actually surprisingly impressed. It was honestly very funny. Um, definitely a lot funnier and uh, more laughs than the comedies that are pressed on us now. I did also enjoy the shameless... <laughs> they had an ad in the middle of this movie. And then they had Jeremy's Razors being the sponsors of the girls team. It was just so... It was really funny. All right. I can't think of anything else. So there you go. There's my reaction.